Uh, hi, kids. Um, what we're going to do right now is we are going to put the string or the boom wire onto our crane. And you start by taking your tire that you removed from the hub and you're simply going to tie it to the end of your string. Okay, so you just take your string and you tie the tire on like so. Okay, so now the tire. And what you'll do is when you pick something up, you'll just simply lower it down, slide it on the item and lift it and take it away. All right, now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put the string on the crane. You're going to put the cable on the boom, okay? Now, um, the one thing you want to do is you want to take and you want to thread the cable or the yarn in through that little teeny orange connector hole right there, okay? That way, it's guided up the boom correctly. That way it'll stay nice and guided up on the boom when you're using the boom. Now, this end, this loose end, will be attached to this yellow axle right there. And you don't tie anything. What you do is you simply snap the string, the yarn, underneath a tan lock, okay? And you want to make sure that your tan lock faces to the center, okay? So be very careful when you do this. And you simply just snap it in there. Some kids, and then you give it a little tug. You make, oh, it came out. So if it comes out, that means you have to re-snap it. And you might even want to put a knot in the end of it. Sometimes that helps keep it from sliding out, is you put a little knot in the end of it. But it should usually cleat right in there with no problem. And so again, you just simply put it underneath your tan lock like so and it can be tricky all right especially when you're trying to show somebody on film there you go and it snaps right in there underneath and you can pull the slack out like that notice how my peg is pointing in and so when i turn on my motor it's not going to get caught okay now what you want to do now is slide this all the way back and you want to lift this like so and then you're going to pull the wheel a far, as far you want to give it as much tension as you can on there and then you might even want to lift it up all right now and you want to put a little bit of wind in your line so you bring up your line a little bit and you wind it up okay now what's going to happen is it might wrap around that tan lock that's okay eventually it will come off of there and it won't wrap on there okay and that's how you get it working okay and it should stay on there without bunching up you're gonna have to watch and make sure that it doesn't get tangled and you also have to watch this top part right here because as it gets closer to the top it's gonna want to pull up over and you don't want to do that because you'll break some things okay now a little couple things about operating your crane okay this is the boom and this is the back this is the front Okay, and the boom will go up and down like so. Okay, up and down like so. Now you'll notice that one of the things with your crane that if you want to pick up something closer to your crane, you have to raise the boom and then drop the line. Okay, the hook, whatever you might have there, right? And it comes all the way down, and you'll notice that it'll eventually reach the bottom, okay? Okay, and so right there, you have the minimum reach of your boom, okay? If your boom was built correctly, this line should come right down, right in front of the crane. Now, what you can do is you can measure the distance from this axle to this line, which is straight up and down. That will give you the area inside the crane, okay, where the crane operates from, okay? So when the closest you can bring in your, your rope in is this maximum height here. So as, if you bring this up, the closest you can do is pick up something where this comes straight down. And this is a 360 turn, okay?
So anyways, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to wind this up a little bit, okay? And I want to show you some things here, okay? All right. Now, your crane has a maximum reach and it has a minimum reach, okay? Its maximum reach is as far away as it can go from this blue rod, this center point out to there, okay? So if you wanted to find out the maximum reach or the maximum area your crane can work within, you would simply take your crane and you want to wind it up and you want this rope, this cable, to hang completely straight down there. There we go. There we go, perfect. And so what you would do is you would measure from this blue rod here all the way out to this cable when it's not swinging. And this distance would create a radius. That radius then tells you the operational area of your crane. In other words, you can reach anything out from here to there, okay? When you bring it up and you unwind it, you can find your minimum distance, okay, as it comes down, and it'll come right down here, okay? So the important thing is to remember that your crane creates a working area, all right, an operational area. Its operational area, okay, is the total area in which it operates all the way around in 360 degrees, okay? The lifting area, on the other hand, is different. The lifting area is made up of the maximum reach and subtracting the minimum reach because it kind of forms like a donut, okay? Because this area right here, you can't reach anything here in the crane area, okay? But if you reach out, you can go all the way out to a certain point as far out as the boom will go. So what it creates is it creates this like donut. And I'm gonna have another video there to kind of like help show you what, what I'm talking about here. But basically, you wanna just remember that your crane has a couple um, important circles that it makes. The first circle is its maximum reach, okay? And that gives you the maximum area that it can operate. And you measure from the blue rod to where the line hangs, okay? Its minimum reach is where the line hangs straight down when you have the crane boom all the way up, okay? And you measure from there to the string, okay? And you wanna make sure that you lower the string all the way down when you take that measurement, okay? Because you want it to be accurate. So you'd measure from here to there, okay? Making sure that you get that area. And that little area in there is not part of the lifting area. The lifting area is that donut around the crane that you can reach by elevating the boom and lowering or raising the tire, okay? All right, well, anyways, um, hopefully you have a better idea of how you operate your crane and what the working area is and what the operational area is. The total operational area is the whole big circle. The lifting area is the area in which you can pick something up, and that's a donut, all right? And the donut hole would be this part where the base is, and you can't lift anything, all right? And so um, if you're not clear, there is another video posted in here that you can kind of, like, I'll explain it to you again, all right? Well, good luck. Hopefully you pass the quiz, and you get to go on to build the things that you're going to lift.